Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make three adorable do-it-yourself notebooks. They're seriously so cute and so unique and I really love them. And how cute is this backpack? I got it from Target and it's still being sold there so you should definitely go check it out and get it also and then we can be twinsies. Okay guys, let's get started. So, our first notebook is the easiest notebook out of all of them, so we're starting off nice and slow. So what you're going to need is a notebook, which I got from Walmart, some chalkboard paint, which I also got at Walmart, and a paintbrush, which I found at Michael's. So you want to start off by laying down some cardboard, and you want to make sure that your notebook has a nice hard cover like this one, because otherwise the paint is going to be really heavy and probably won't stay as well on the real flimsy cover. So the great thing about these notebooks is that they're made completely from recycled material, which is awesome, and it also means that you can recycle them again. So the only part that I'm not sure about would be the spiral, because I don't know if that's recycled, but still. Having everything else recycled is pretty awesome if you ask me. So, as you can see, I am just painting it on. You want to make sure that you get a pretty opaque covering. And, um, you know, once you cover the whole thing, you can just paint on another coat without letting it dry. And you should get it opaque enough to last. And along the edges, it's really hard. Like, you can't really get inside each spiral very easily. So what I did was sort of created like a... Um, scalloped effect, is that what it's called? I can't think of what it's called right now, but you can see it's sort of a little bumpy. That way it gets a nice sort of clean edge to it. And once you're finished, you can let it dry, and it dried pretty fast. I think I probably let it dry for about an hour. And that is it for that one, super easy. You just paint on, and I think this is so cute. You can do whatever you want with it. You can doodle on it. I wrote my name, and you can write homework assignments on there, and I just think it's really unique. I've never seen a, like a chalkboard notebook before. I don't know if that exists, but I think that it's really cool that you could just make your own. I also think it's nice because you get that pop of color with the green and you'll see that throughout all of the notebooks how that little pop of color can really make all the difference. On to notebook number two. So for this one you're going to need another notebook. I got this one at Walmart, a paintbrush. I got that at Michaels. I got some acrylic paint for like 60 cents at Michaels and then I picked up some studs from Etsy. So once again, you're just laying it down on some cardboard, and then what I did was I just put some paint across it. And you can see this time I taped down like along the pages because it dripped down a little bit there. So that's a lot smarter because last time with the chalkboard one, I got chalkboard paint like all over it. And also, you may have noticed that I just dipped my hair into the paint, so make sure that you tie it off. Um, but anyway, just make sure that you tape off the edges, that way it doesn't drip onto the page just like it did on my chalkboard one. So this goes on pretty opaque, and I decided for the edges that I wanted it to have sort of a brush stroke effect. So you can see I just sort of messily went along there so that it just looked like I quickly brushed it. And don't worry about it looking a little bit streaky, because um, that dries uh, perfectly fine. You can't even see the streaks. And this one took a little bit longer to dry, but it wasn't so bad. And now I'm going to begin studying. So while it was drying, I began um, pushing down the little prongs on the studs, that way they could lay flat. And now using my hot glue gun, I'm just gluing them down, but be careful because um, the glue really heats up the metal of the studs and they get really hot really easily. So just be careful with that. Um, but you can do whatever design you want, obviously. I was just lining the top and the bottom. And to make the top even, all I did was use a piece of paper and line it up with one of the bottom studs and then brought it up so I could line up the top studs. And it wasn't perfect, but it was good enough for me and you can use a ruler or whatever straight edge you can find. And here is the final notebook. I think this one is really cute. It sort of has like a girly punk feel to it with the pink and the black and the studs. So this last one is my absolute favorite. So what you're going to need is some white acrylic paint, which I got from Michaels, a notebook from Michaels, I mean from Walmart, paintbrush, Mod Podge from Michaels, some sort of printout, a marker, and a pair of scissors. So you're going to start off the same way that we have all the other times, and that is by painting it on. This one, you had to use a bit more paint just because it was a lighter color, so you need a bit more to do, um, you know, to really cover it up. And I did the brush stroke effect on the sides I did last time. And you could see that the cover sort of curls up, but after I was finished filming the video, I just let them sit 
under some textbooks or heavy books and then it totally flattened out. Okay, so once it is completely dry, you're going to pick a subject. I'm using the fault in our stars, but you can do whatever you want. A movie, a celebrity, anything that you can find quotes from, like um, song lyrics, whatever you want. And you're going to start writing them down on the cover of your book. And my marker ran out a little bit, so ignore that. I had to switch to a new one. Um, but as I said, I'm using the fault in our stars, so I'm just going through and writing out some of my favorite quotes all the way across the cover. and. Um, like I said, you can do whatever you want and be creative with the markers. You can use different colors or you can use black like me. Whatever you want, just make sure that you cover the entire thing with words. You can even doodle all over it. Just fill up the whole thing with doodles and that would look really cute also. Okay, so I figured that you guys got the hint. So while my notebook was drying, I also cut out the little printout that I created. If you know about the Fault in Our Stars, the little okay thing is sort of the symbol of the book. So just find a printout, and then I put some Mod Podge in a cup. And my camera stopped recording, so I missed the beginning of this. But all I did was painted Mod Podge over top of the little printout, and then I'm covering the rest of the cover with it also, just to seal everything in. And you could do this over top of any of your notebooks. I just want to do it over top of the chalkboard one, because it's probably going to ruin the chalkboard. It won't work as well. But make sure when you are doing your printout that you cover it completely. Make sure all the edges are completely flat. Make sure that all the air bubbles are out, because you don't want it to come undone. And don't worry about it looking a little bit streaky, because it dries completely dry. I mean, clear. <laughs> and here is the final product. I am in love with this. I love how the blue sort of goes with it because blue is sort of the fault in our stars color. So I just think this is the cutest notebook of all time. I cannot wait to use this. So that is it for our three DIY notebooks. If you try any of them, please make sure to tweet me a picture because I would love to see what you came up with because I think these are so cute and I hope you like them because I had so much fun making them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I will see you soon. Bye.